Pine Street, we have Michigan Avenue. And that's why this bridge is so very, very important. The Wrigley Building uh, cements part of the importance, as does the building on the left. This is the London Guarantee and Accident Building. And we had so many boats on the river once our economy and our population exploded that they said, why don't we just bring the company to Chicago and we can insure the boats that way. You'll notice in the beginning on the bottom, you know, there's beautiful, beautiful Corinthian columns. And as it goes up, you have a uh, magnificent row of columns up towards the top. This is a polygon building. There's multiple sides to it. And it was designed by Alfred Aschuler, who went to the Col des Beaux-Arts in Paris. Now, in Paris, they teach the grand arts of uh, the past. So this is an American interpretation of a French interpretation of a uh, Italian interpretation of a Greek building. <laughs> we got a little of everybody in there today. All right, let's look down on the left-hand side. You see the, uh, the uh, sandy-colored building with kind of bumpy texture? This is the jeweler's building, and this is fabulous. You see, in the, um, in the uh, 1920s, we were, Chicago was, a little rough around the edges. So the jewelers who worked there would take all their wares and put them in their car, diamonds and rubies and all that stuff, and then they would drive to this building, they'd drive around the back, they drive into the building, onto an elevator, go up on an elevator to their floor, drive off and be right at their office. How about that? If that's not safe, I'm not sure what is. So that was very popular at the time. But when we go under this bridge, I want you to look up again because uh, what you're going to see is this beautiful temple. And you'll say, oh, isn't that lovely? That's for praying. No, no. <laughs> That temple is for partying. That is a speakeasy called the Stratosphere Lounge. Now a speakeasy back then in the 1920s was uh, a place you could go for alcohol because we were in Prohibition so alcohol was illegal. So in the 1920s the girls would all bob their hair and they'd put on their fringe dresses and their boas and the guys would be decked out in their tuxedos. They'd go all the way up to the top, they'd knock on some little door and they'd say, Joe sent us or something like that, and they'd walk in, and as we say, they would have a roaring good time with all that alcohol. So that's what's up there, and that's a fun thing to know. Now, settle in on the left for a little bit, because we'll talk about some of the things on the left. If I haven't mentioned buildings that you want to know about, I imagine we'll catch them going back the other way. But now I want you to look at this gray building with the silver pinstripes through the uh, windows. Kind of looks like a man in a gray flannel suit. And this is uh, postmodern. We got so sick of less is more, we basically said less is a bore.